coming up with ideas. This subject is always on my mind, so that I'm able to produce new videos on a weekly basis. Yes, I've done some fortnightly, and I may do that again. Sometimes I'll have an idea, then question whether I should make a video. But what would it be this week? Aha, Eureka, as they say, an idea is for. Yes, I'm going to replace the back of the workbench with a cabinet, so at least I'll be able to keep all my plans at hand. So normally, I would write down what the idea is, and I'd come up with options of how to make it. When making a large item, I find it useful to go through this process. I'll then draw a rough sketch of what I envisage, so I might just write down what's going to go in certain places, such as the plans. As you can see, I've done a design that I'm happy with. At the bottom here, there's uh, two rows of drawers. And then there's two little cubby holes, which I might put covers on at some point. Um, I'm just not sure yet. And to see the drawers, this is just basically like a mock-up of one. With the dimensions. But the dimensions could easily change. Um, see, I've got the bottom going in like that with the... Um, rebates on either side but that could change just depends on how i decide to do it when i'm making it this was a, a, a design option i had um for using just pine like strips of pine going across but that would end up being too expensive so for the back i'm going to go with approximately nine mil um nine or twelve mil plywood and the reason for that is on the back here I want to like put um, either cleats or something so I can connect other tools to. Um, I may even buy, because <coughs> I've seen a few people using it, I may even buy a pegboard to put on there and then in my in the garage I'll have a pegboard and French cleats. The actual original design is very similar but the drawers and the, the device for the drawers are all different um, lengths apart we have now got them set to about 180 mil apart and also here that was a lot wider and I put a divider in and as it happens I don't need that divider really um, so that's gone and obviously I've got it now a lot more narrower so it'll fit where it needs to and then obviously in the next video you'll actually see me making this because I'll work out exactly how much material I need um, and leave a comment below if you would like to know exactly how much the whole thing costs um, I will even work out as if I wasn't using any of my current stock of plywood if I was using it all fresh and I can just make a list